Now, Russia's Lake Baikal is absolutely stunning, uh, but not the tourist hotspot that you might expect it to be. In many ways, that's a blessing as well as the region's ecosystems remain intact as a result. A new effort to boost tourism while respecting the environment is underway. Part of Lindsay France went on the trail to Baikal. The Great Baikal Trail, also known as the GBT, is a dream becoming a reality literally inch by inch. Begun in 2003 as a non-profit plan to build 2,000 kilometers of hiking trail around Lake Baikal, is now a major international volunteer movement. It draws large groups to the region every year to work two weeks at a time. The aim is to build a world-class trail and to develop ecotourism in the region itself. This path is bringing together people from all walks of life who want to keep Baikal clean and accessible. You never know who you'll run into out here on the GBT. Out here in Siberia, covering a completely different story for prime time, I ran into an American working on the Great Baikal Trail. I had to stop him and get an interview. Bill Brown, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. Now, you tell me you hail from Nashville, Tennessee. What brings you out to this part of the world to begin with? My wife. Uh, my wife is working on her PhD at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. And she studies environmentalists and activists. And she has a special affinity for Russia. She works with the organizations as a, as a wonderful way to uh, get to know the activists and environmentalists in the area. What's your experience been on the trail so far? Fabulous. Just spent uh, two weeks in the taiga, uh, built a third of a kilometer of trail, and uh, worked with 23 wonderful people from all over Europe and Asia. And, uh, and just had a fabulous time. It was really good. Part of this is about building the trail up to international hiking standards. Tell me about what it takes. What kind of work goes into that? Um, well, it was uh, our uh, crew leader, Anya, was very good about uh, giving us a good idea of what uh, she was hoping to accomplish uh, in the two weeks we were building trails. And, uh, and that's all about building a trail that is wide enough, that is level enough, that is, um, that is going to, uh, to sheet water and allow you to, uh, to hike safely and also um, last a good long time. Um, and I've had a lot of uh, trail building experience and uh, after uh, having hiked on uh, thousands of miles of trail and uh, around the world, uh, it, was, uh, it was really great to see such, uh, such a wonderful one third of a kilometer of trail uh, appear in the taiga. Is it surprising for you to see just how underdeveloped this trail is? It's not surprising for me just because I have a good idea of, uh, of the f relatively few number of people uh, in this region. So, so yes, it's a, it's a hidden wonder in many ways. And I think back in Nashville that there are probably few people who know what Lake Baikal is. Uh, we got to work a little bit with the Tahoe Baikal Institute in, uh, in Lake Tahoe. And, uh, and we went out to the public and asked people, so do you know where Lake Baikal is? I think maybe one out of 30 or 40 actually knew where Lake Baikal was. How foreign is the concept of volunteer vacations and ecotourism out here for people that you've met? Well, it's interesting, having talked to the other members of our group uh, during, in the taiga for two weeks, about half of which were Russian, um, it was kind of good to uh, find that their reasons for volunteering were very similar to, uh, to those reasons in the U.S. for me. Uh, I've been in volunteer management for the last 20 years, and so uh, um, they said, well, uh, it was something I always wanted to do, but I never had the time. Uh, I'm glad to do this at this time in my life. And often, uh, I'd never been asked. Uh, most of my experience in the last 10 years or so has been with Habitat for Humanity, a big house building nonprofit. And, um, and so, uh, so once I came back to discover that GBT was, uh, was just opening up a new office, I jumped up. So I've been helping to renovate the office for the last week and uh, will continue to do so as long as they need me. Having been a, uh, a volunteer manager for many years, it's good to be a, a full-time volunteer again. I think it's a wonderful um, 
uh, amalgam of, uh, of Russian and, uh, and international uh, relations. I think that's one of the biggest things. I think uh, I love to see such a, uh, a polyglot of people from around the world. And I'm really hoping that uh, that will continue to do what I saw in those two weeks, which is really draw people together from everywhere. So, so I imagine that as the trail grows, that its knowledge will grow among Russians, but also they will see that, uh, that internationals like myself can be of help and can really you know, make a difference. Bill Brown, thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Glad to do it.